Hello, I'm Lena Taro. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do a chi-squared test for goodness of fit on the TI-8384 calculator. We'll be using an example that's found in Chapter 11, Section 1 of the Practice of Statistics. In this example, our null hypothesis is that NHL hockey players' birthdays are evenly distributed across the four quarters of the year. We'll be entering our data in List 1 and List 2. To begin, hit Stat, hit Enter on Edit, and in List 1, enter the observed frequencies. There are 32 birthdays from January to March, 20 birthdays from April to June, 16 birthdays from July to September, and 12 birthdays from October to December. In List 3, we enter our expected counts, and if the birthdays were evenly distributed, we'd expect there to be 20 birthdays in each set of three months. Now we're ready to run our test. So hit second mode to quit out of that and go back to the home screen. Now hit stat, go over to tests, scroll to the very, very bottom to find chi-squared goodness of fit. Our observed counts are on list one, our expected counts are on list two. We'd have to actually change these if they were stored in different lists. Don't forget to change your degrees of freedom. Our degrees of freedom is one less than the number of categories, so that would be three. Come down here to calculate. We see our chi-squared test statistic is 11.2 and our p-value is 0 0.01, with our degrees of freedom being three. So there is some evidence that the data from hockey players' birthdays is not evenly distributed, and we can see that the largest contributors are January through March, and October through December. January through March having a lot more than expected, October through December having a lot fewer. We could also draw the chi-squared distribution for this particular problem. To do that, hit stat. Once again, go to tests. I'm going to hit the up arrow because that will get me to chi-squared goodness of fit a little faster. And then instead of choosing calculate, let's choose draw. Notice the chi-square distribution is drawn for us, and we're also given our test statistic value and our p-value. 